five days ago, we flew across the country to pick up our new truck and Airstream that we will use for the next two years in order to make a docu-series about airborne firefighters. Now we have seven days to drive them 3,045 miles across the country. Uh, this is insane. Look at that weather. But I don't think we're gonna make it. I really hope the roads aren't gonna be like this all the way. First day in the awning doesn't go all the way back. No, I'm not touching that awning. Come. So the plan for today is to drive to Christiansburg, Virginia. I have used this really cool app called RV Life in order to plan our trip across the country. We have to get there in six days, so there's not much room for error. This is gonna be a good taste. Get inside. Uh, is that That is cement. Togo's inside. For the most part, I'm planning to stop at Cracker Barrels. And the great thing about Cracker Barrels is that they're free. You don't have to make a reservation. You can kind of show up anytime. On top of that, you can order food and it's ready when you arrive. And so it kind of solves both the place to park and food. That's the plan. All right, let's get on the road. Right, man, there's a lot of bugs. So first stop is the cat's house. All right. I think that's the exit. So we are weighing our whole ring right now on a cat scale, um, which lets us see what the weight is on the different axles. Finalizing, processing, do not pull off the scale. There it is. Ready? Yeah. I don't know what that all means, so I'll let you figure it out. Okay, so I was right. About 14,000 pounds. Trailer axles, 6,220 pounds. Yeah, which is insane because it's saying on the card, on the placard, that it's 6,800 pounds. Are you happy? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good, good numbers. I'm thinking the one that they have there is including water and everything. Um, it must. <laughs> this is going to be a good test. Wait, you see this car, I see right? them, but they can also see I'm a monstrosity trying to get out of here. How's it look? Good. I'm not sure what it's... Oh my... I'm just gonna go straight, see if I can turn around somewhere. I wanna go 78 south. Pennsylvania. Hello. Yeah, there we go. You did it. You turned around. Got it so good. You said a scene turn in my gray skies blue. Just like you always do. I don't want you So last night was a little bit rough sleep. Uh, there was just a lot of noise. It was a little warm and humid. It was a little hard to get sleep, so we're not feeling probably in top form today. My original plan was to try to make this as cheap as possible and stay at as many Cracker Barrels as possible so that we 
can easily get food and we have a free place to park that's pretty safe. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna make it because of the heat. Because where we're going, it is currently 110 degrees. It's really easy to boondock when it's not hot outside. The only way for us to use the air conditioner is if we go to a campsite that has hookups. So tonight, we're supposed to stay in Nashville. I had a Cracker Barrel lined up there, but we're looking at trying to stay at a campground that we stayed at before, which is actually one of my favorites in the whole country. It's right on the lake. It's really lovely, um, but it also has power so we can get full hookups and get sleep. So we have 384 miles to cover today. Six and a half hours should get there around 2.15 or so. We'll see how this goes. Look at that weather. It's coming. Get inside. The trailer came off the hitch. Am I dreaming? Cause you're the only thought of my mind. And when I see you, sometimes I can't believe my eyes. It's no Looking at weather tonight, Nashville, there's a nice little spot for predictions of thunderstorms. Nothing around it, just Nashville. But of course, we're staying in Nashville tonight. <laughs> I was hoping I'm not going to stress, but now I'm going to stress. What are you afraid is going to happen? Hail, tornadoes, damage to the vehicle and to the trailer. Oh, look at him. He knows. How does he know? <laughs> How do you know, bum bums? Yeah, it's just going to be up here on the right. Oh, look at that weather. Yeah, it's coming. Togo, not now. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's get inside. Stay. Get inside. Yeah, come on, Togo. In your bag. Come on. In the bag. Wow, that was quick. A little gust front. Severe thunderstorm watch. 6.41 is in effect until 8 p.m. It's cheeky for hail. We might get some. That's in town. It's nice and dark red. It's just north of us. We're not out of danger completely, but majority of it. It's kind of slowly dissipating. Okay, dude, see. Let's go. You're like a kid. You really like a kid. So we've uh, just left Nashville area. So we're making our way west. Tonight we're gonna stay in Elma, Arkansas. Um, it's about a seven hour drive or so. It's probably gonna take us about nine hours to get there uh, with all the stopping and, you know. Uh, we've got how many, four more days to go. So uh, nice little relaxing road trip. Uh, is that that is cement smoke goes inside we got the ram 2500 6.4 liter hemi i think it's doing an incredible job very comfortable zero issues even though we do have uh, air suspension in the rear uh, i can definitely feel more of the bumps in the road um, yeah it was, a, it was extremely uncomfortable getting out of Jersey. There With those roads were really bad. Right now, roads are pretty good, very comfortable. Yeah, really can't complain. We did get our trailer raised. Uh, we did 
put in the lift kit, three inches. I was a little worried about how it was gonna tow, but it's, it's really nice, especially with the 2500. I think it just levels the whole rig out so much better. It also gives you that road clearance going in and out of gas stations. But really, I think having these two at the same height right now is really nice. This is a nice, a nice combo. <sighs> At least the TV is not broken. I think Tennessee has so far been the worst. It's been hot, it's been humid, having issues with the whole control panel for the whole Airstream. Like if you lose that thing, you lose control of Think the whole system. It's a good day. We got some light we can chase. We can see where it takes us. Writing stories of shape us. It's a good time to find a little I'm magic sure in the we are right now. All that we can discover All right, I'm the truth in this sky full of wonder. We got everything beneath the feet to see it all. Hello, it's going. Biggest river. It's a little bit of a longer day than we hoped, but um, it's the great thing about Cracker Barrels. You can show up at whatever time you want. Definitely feeling it. A little tired today, but almost there. So this is our first time driving into the night on this trip so far. Today the plan is to drive to Gallup, New Mexico, to just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Today is our last day. That, that is cement. Togo's inside.